A little secret about me. My answer to the question, would you like a receipt, is always based on absolutely nothing and changes all the time. R slash white people Twitter, because I can't do the other one. Oh, and disclaimer. We live in the ruins of superior generations. Oh god, it's one of these f things. <laughs> you guys hear about this? Just a bunch of Garfield phones that just washed up on a beach one day? <laughs> I clicked on make a reservation on a restaurant's page and it opened FaceTime and started calling them. I cannot stress enough how much I do not want that to happen. I can't send my family any pictures of my cat because they end up editing her into rot chicken every time. <laughs> That's pretty good. I have lived next to the same guy for three years. Thought his name was Steve. I call him Steve. His name is Steve in my phone. I have been to his apartment. We've had dinner. His name is Brian. <laughs> His dog is Steve. <laughs> Isn't it weird how we have one million dog breeds and everyone is like, Golden Doodle this or Chihuahua mix that. And if you ask someone what kind of cat they have, it's just like an orange one. My cat was having trouble peeing, so we took him to the vet and he was diagnosed with crystals. Yeah, I know. Really sad, but the worst part is how he won't stop meowing about how aligned his chakras are and greeting me with Namaste. BBC News. Airline to help passengers avoid screaming babies. Superb idea! A few years ago, I was on a long haul flight between two screaming, almost demonic children. I pleaded with a stewardess to move me away from them for the sake of my sanity. She refused on the ridiculous grounds that I'm their father. Waiter, sets down check. Me, my treat. Her, thank you so much. Me, grabbing mint on check. For what? At my daughter's school, it's medieval day. Everyone else wore Disney princess dresses or homemade night costumes. This kid, this kid marches to his own drum. Hashtag Plague Doctor, respect. A little bit of SCP-049 or uh, Corvus Clemens for those of you who are in that circle. Me. Depression is the worst. I just want to sleep all day. I've just been eating the same thing for every meal. Life has no color. My dog. Oh my god. I have depression. Food mascots and whether or not I'd be able to kick their ass. We got, they would absolutely kick my ass. Fair fight. I could definitely kick their ass. I honestly just love how he's included the Gerber baby as something he could kick their ass. Like, come on. <laughs> Anyone else be seeing these little things floating around in your eye? How the f did you get a picture of this? Who needs pockets when you got sunburn? Ah. I have genuinely never been so disgusted at something in my entire life. The big ass spider in my room is now named Cotton Eye Joe because I want to know two things. Where did he come from and where did he go? I just saw a guy in the library cry for five or six minutes and then his phone alarm went off and he just stopped crying and went right on back to work. <laughs> I feel that in my soul. <laughs> It's called time management, Jessica. Name a better b than Kylie Jenner. My uh, 92 year old grandmother who survived four years in Auschwitz. Nine year old. I learned a joke at school. Me? Okay, let's hear it. Nine. What goes in stiff but comes out soft? <laughs> Me? Nine year old. Me? Nine year old. Me? Is it, uh, wife runs in from another room? Spaghetti! It's spaghetti! <laughs> After my great-grandparents, Hilda and Ernest, died, my grandparents were clearing out their stuff, and Ernest went deaf later in life, and he and Hilda couldn't be bothered to learn sign language. So, they passed notes, and my nana found a note that said, Ernest, please f*** off. 
I don't get people like Bezos. If I had billions of dollars, I would impulsively start fixing Homeless vets? I don't think so. Hungry children? Not on my watch. He could be Batman. What a waste. He said he wants to go to space. Like, what the hell, dude? Did y'all motherfuckers know an ostrich can kick the out of a lion so goddamn hard the lion dies right there? What the f***? That's crazy! A huge ass giraffe bird can drop kick a 400 pound cat and kill its ass. Homie can run at you 40 miles an hour. What the f*** you gonna do if you got extendo chicken running at you like your 2004 Jeep Wrangler? Just to pull up and Chuck Norris roundhouse your It's over! Cold blooded! America has more governors who've worn blackface than black governors. Politifact. Yeah, yeah, we fact checked this. It, it, it's true. Me. The Eagles won last night. Coworkers. Oh, did you watch the game? Me. Covered in blood and scratches. <laughs> what game? I got tested for a bunch of STDs and they didn't get back to me for a week. So I called and... And the woman was like, okay, so you got chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, and you tested negative for all of them. Ma'am, why would you say it like that? Because the one part of her job that gives her joy is scaring the hell out of people. That's why she would say it like that. Alright, so... Yesterday, someone pointed out that screaming F during sex is the same as screaming parkour! Well, you parkour and I haven't been the same since. I think my favorite Auntie Greta talking point is she should be in school. Like, buddy. She's out there giving speeches in her second language at age 16 while you're a grown-ass man living in constant fear of the Duolingo owl. Uh, okay. So, in drinking the sweetened milk left over from my bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios, it suddenly occurred to me that I was sucking down cow b juice sweetened with artificial bee spit. I didn't stop. But I did pause. It's best not to overthink some things. I love baby boomers who say, Kids don't even know how to write cursive. In a negative way, like, Okay, Grandma, you can't even turn your laptop on without getting six viruses and wiring half your retirement money to a Nigerian prince. Could someone please explain to me how colonizing Mars for humanity's survival is a more reasonable and easy option than just taking better care of the Earth and not killing each other? Well, it's simple, because rocket ships are awesome. We don't deserve librarians. Attention! There will be no snakes at this Friday's anti-prom at the library. There was a typo in a local paper that said we will have snakes. We will have snacks. Snacks is what we will have. Not to say we have anything against snakes. In fact, snakes will be at the library in May during the teen de-stressing day reptile hangout. So, just to summarize, April 12th, no snakes. May 22nd, yes snakes. If you have any questions about our programs, please don't hesitate to call us at phone number or send us a message. Me, I'm gonna make a totally sick Halloween costume this year. Also me, dude, you're 28 and you have no friends. Why the hell would you do that? Me, yeah, I need to lose weight first anyway. That, that'll be my New Year's resolution. And the cycle repeats. Me? Robbing a bank? Okay, everyone, hands in the air. Everyone puts hands up. Me? Already mad with power? What hop this time? <laughs> NASA employee? Oh, hey, you guys are back early. Astronaut? Moon's haunted. Huh. What? Astronaut? Loading a pistol and getting back on the rocket ship? Moon's haunted. Why do British people still eat like they're in the 1800s and don't have electricity? Yorkshire, we have an important question. Christmas cake, with or without cheese? Why do Americans eat like they have free healthcare? Hmm? My son just told me that I have a fixed mindset and he has a growth mindset. So, he's banned from YouTube until I can figure out what's going on. I like to wait to board the plane so the person seated next to me thinks they'll have extra space and then I come in right before the door closes and ruin their lives. That's pretty goddamn evil. Therapist. Super Mario 64 was a long time ago. Luigi not being in a Mario game won't happen anymore. A lack of Luigi isn't real. It can't hurt you. 
Nintendo, Mario Kart Tour. We got Luigi there, but if you look closely, we have no Luigi. Instead, we got Baby Peach, Dry Bones, Shy Guy, Metal Mario, Dry Bones Bowser, and like two versions of Peach, Toadette, Spiffy Mario, and Pauline. All of these were chosen before Luigi, and he's on the box art. What piece of pop culture has ruined your first name? My name is Karen. Do you really have to ask? Dizzy the manager. Who said rednecks can't wear sunglasses? Elon Musk. Not a single breathing, talking, walking, living person out of the 7 billion people on this planet has ever said that. I want Tim Curry to have a larger catalog, damn it. Sir. I have appeared in over 230 television and film productions, acted in 25 large-scale theater shows, recorded four music albums, lent my voice to over 50 audiobooks, many pushing 10 plus hours in length, and seduced many humans in my 72 years. Please. I had to sleep now and again. Oh boy, we're at the outro to this episode. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and subscribe. That'd be really cool if you did. Yeah, this is this is pretty much just 20 seconds that I dedicate at the end of each video. So that way, end cards don't show up on your video because I'm nice like that. Anyways, I'll see you all next time.